Because reinvention is the key to longevity in anything, sports, music, whatever. And he has the, you know, maybe he's had these ghost writers or many writers so that he doesn't go into the next project sounding like the last project. That's so right. it's just his thoughts or whatever it may be. Artists have to stop blaming another man for their their careers or their success or their accomplishments. It's all based on yourself. Mm -hmm. Drake is not your father. It's not. Well, no, what you're saying is facts. That's not how it works outside. <laughs> That's just not how it works outside. They coming to ask for more favors, man. <laughs> That's just what it is, you know, bro. You know what? I learn again. <laughs> you know, you're right. You're right. It, it, that there's truth, and it, the way it's gonna be outside. This is it, what it right. is, bro. Now, so and now I got a question for you. Uh, how could Drake have avoided? He couldn't I, have. He couldn't no, have. How could he avoid these confrontations? How artists feel? How could he even avoid it, did he, bro? Yo, Funk, you know the first, remember that night we, remember that night Drake was out front of the radio station when he came up and rapped on the Blackberry? Remember that? Oh my goodness. Me and E, wait. That was me, I him. called no, no, no. you. Ebro called me. Ebro called me and said, Drake was in town. That's right. And then, wait. And he was going around he the clue. radio stations. He, he wanted, was going to see Clue. And I was like, nah, 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 come up here. And then when I got him, I got Drake in the hallway and I said, listen, you go over there. They're not going to let you freestyle. They're going to treat you like a bagel. You hit me when you up there. And he said, they didn't let me freestyle. And they didn't let I said, come on back. Come on back. We're going to go tonight. We're going to go tonight. I remember. Yeah. I remember. And so you and you know what I told Drake? And it's playing out right now. Oh, you People told him this. I told, I told him. I said, you know, you're going to have to battle one of these dark-skinned dudes. They're going to test you. He looked at me like an alien. He was like looking at me like, "Why? what are you talking? I was like, bro, you light skin and from Canada. What is this light skin, dark skin thing in the world? I do not understand. Because when you're light skin, when you have a white mom, the hood is going to see where you at, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. I live this, I walk this. Listen, dark skin guys as myself, until the notorious B.I.G., it was okay to be big, black, and ugly. Biggie, I thank you for giving me life. <laughs> Biggie, you gave me life. But that right there, yo, Kanye even got a line about not liking light-skinned dudes. He's light-skinned. He ain't that dark. <laughs> How, what's going on here, bro? Yo, we should do a podcast, Ebro. I would do a podcast with you. <laughs> I would, I would love to and do get in Listen. a lot of trouble. Oh, Listen, this man. place right here, somebody. Get in a lot of trouble. I don't even know. I, somebody call somebody. Now we'll do it. We'll do it. Listen, we'll only put, we'll put out an hour a month. That's it. <laughs> I'm with you on this, my brother. I, I, I enjoy. Uh, man, I want to take time to give you guys and this morning show your flowers. I'm, 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 I'm not joking. Ebro, Laura, Peter Rosenberg, Cast One, you guys have created a show in demand, and y'all don't even have artists up here at all. That was the whole point. Very few. At, Very no, few. no audit. Like, and then when I turn on, cause you know, I'm gonna give you two different type of flowers today, cause I, I get up. And I'm in the, you know, I, I hear you guys because I'm I'm in the office down the block. So you know, you you guys are blaring through the office. <laughs> yeah. And and I and I listen and I'm like, I don't want an artist. I, I gotta be honest, I kinda hate when there's an artist up here. I I, I like uh, you guys take you were talking about the Knicks the other day and uh, the way you guys were breaking it down and what the Knicks are about and 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 uh uh, Ebro absolutely sounded like he just jumped on the bandwagon. Oh man, yo, that's my team, baby. <laughs> that's my team. And and you know, uh, you really put in your work, man. And and you know, uh, Ebro, I have learned. You know, Ebro used to run this ship, and I did not understand why Ebro did certain things. <laughs>
and P.O. I did not understand. And then when I started to look around, oh, I see why they handled it like this. Because you have to. You but have to. I just wanted to say that, man. Thank I enjoy to see you guys in the morning. Ebro, we need a podcast. Listen, to, once a month. Once a month. Something. We need something. They want us. They, they want us. Listen, it might have to. Honestly, I'm going to keep it hunting. I know the, the game is all podcasts. What we doing right here is a podcast. Yes. We could do it live. Get some people to pay for the live version, uh, yeah. and get some people to pay for the. And that's what and that's what Kendra got at when I'm he was like, "When I see I you up there with sexy red, I think you see competition because you oh, want to do with, with Drake and with the, why he's Drake all over sexy, sexy red? red. Well, because that's what Kendrick's tapping into. Because you know a lot of you know my lady be saying it too. My lady be like, "Yo, Drake want to be a baddie so bad. He want to be a baddie." <laughs> <laughs> that's what the girls be saying, son. Yeah, that's what the girls be saying, son. Yo. <sighs> right, yo, listen. Fellas, when a woman says that you want to be a baddie, that is the absolute. That is worse than saying a particular part of your body is small. Yeah, yo. That is wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, now Drake. I don't, I don't, I don't want to, uh, <laughs> listen, I can't help you with that. I can talk about your lyrics. Though. No, no, no. But push-ups is fire. I, 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 I oh, but by listen, the way, what my lady, but the what Rick my lady Ross, says about Ross. him being a baddie, what Ebro, my lady, huh? The Rick Ross. Fire. Solid, solid, jump in the ring, punch you in the face. I'm going to stand here for 10 minutes. Yeah. Ain't nobody want no smoke with me because I'm street. And my boss is right, and That's now right. I'm gonna go back to the mansion. Yeah. I felt that that Ross interjection caught me way off guard. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Well, I knew that there was rumblings because remember there was all this talk about Ross and Drake having a collaborative album. Uh, um, early, 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 right? Then early. the then the French thing came out with the Drake verse, and it was like funny with the rollout and that whole thing. So I knew there was some, and so that's a part a part of this whole Drake, you know, uh, disdain the people not liking him is really tied to the fact, and it's Kendrick mentions it, it, it mentions it in Euphoria, is the fact that people feel used. People feel yeah. like this kid. You know who's who's a great rapper from Canada. You know tried to move around and buddy buddy with everyone. And people use Drake though also. Like yes, Drake yes. put people on tour and Drake used his popularity to help people as well. You know Very what I'm saying? Much so. But Very vice versa, so. you know how the streets go though. Once you do them a favor, you're not. Once they do you a favor, the favors ain't done, bro. Like they want another one and another one and another one. But that speaks to Drake. Why are you trying to be so street? So, so Ebro, because you brought this is an amazing point, right? Now, some of these artists, correct me if I'm wrong. Let's say uh, Joe Blow, whatever the artist's name is, and you had a great five-year career. Mm. You sold a bunch of records, whatever, and then maybe your career stops. Here's another artist you, you shoot ten. That might have just been your lifespan. That might not be Drake's. You know what I mean? I think people no, say... No, it's, it's not Drake's fault, but that yeah, doesn't mean that they're know, not going like, to come like, ask for more favors. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it... Come back. It's now, an amazing return. Now, now for me... Yes, for, yes, where and, are and, you? And I can have this convo with you, right? I've been trying to figure out how to formulate this thought. Follow me. Yes, Follow yes, me. Yes. I put Drake in the hip-hop family tree on, with like an LL Cool J. And, uh, and a, and a Jay Z as greats. far as like greats, greats, but also what he covers, right? Like he covers mm -hmm. women, he covers money, he cover, he likes talking about charts, and just like LL Cool J, he's never ever been afraid to battle. Yes, I agree. Not afraid. Kendrick is our KRS. He's our Chuck D. He's our uh, 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 Q-tip of a Tribe Called Quest. Yes. Andre 3000. He's more yes. complicated. I'm partial to that thoughtfulness. So, yes, you as a DJ, I know why you like the Drake, the hooky yeah. thing, the comedy, all of that. And the bar. Yeah, the bar. And the, and the, the bar. bars are great. Yes. But the way Kendrick put together this surgery and this picking apart of Drake's whole persona down to the accents that he uses 
down to his manipulation of the because you know Drake yes. manipulates bloggers by double tapping and liking and leaving comments. Yo, academics, he don't fuck with you like that. Shut the yo, fuck up. He wrote in a place nasty. today. Pussy. He rose in a place like, yo, today. Stop it. He don't fuck with you, but all hey, y'all think he fucking he doesn't. He does not. He's using you. Oh, oh this is abusive today. <laughs> This but, is abusive but, today. But, Nobody's safe. But, 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 I like the play. It's great wartime play on Drake's part. Uh. But Kendrick calling it out and then taking it a step further and being like, yo, I like you, Drake. I like your melodies. Ooh. Stop talking tough. Stop talking tough. Because if you want to get to that tough talk, Trizzy, Kendrick look, look. is on it. Yo, we un we unleash somebody today. <laughs> Yo, because I can't really have this now, conversation now, with a lot of now, people because they wasn't there when Drake called the station and asked Funk Flex to be suspended. Yeah, for talking was bad. about the Yo, ghost writing. Hold on, you're right. Let's go back, Drake. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. And Jay Z did say he was gonna buy the station. Let's no stay out of this one, Ebro. That's the <laughs> guy. Stay out. Look, Ebro is. Let me give him space. This is, this is not the words of Ebro towards the Funk Flex. Uh, 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 Jay-Z, I love you, but there was a little rumor that you was going to buy the station. Okay, let's, let's, let's move on. Now, Kendrick's, now surgically, that's yeah. what you said, right? Yeah, surgically. Um, it was, it, it, you know what? There are two type of different responses. It's very songs, different. It's very right? different. Um, uh, 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 Drake's response catered to his DNA. Yes. And, and Kendrick's um, God, we needed Rosenberg here, bro. Well, no, so now we've talked about this, though. Now, this is important what you're about to say, Flex, because I've been saying this, and it sounds corny. Rosenberg called me corny. He was like, it's corny, what you're saying. Like, the people, and i like, yo, people want blood. Yes. But what I love right now is the fact that we have a situation with two MCs, marquee MCs in the game, who are very different. Yes. And, 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 and it's getting coverage yes. equally. Like it's yes. showing how diverse and and big this hip hop thing has become. I agree with you so much. Like and that's beautiful. That there is very different offerings from very different people. They are not trying to and occupy it's, the and same space. And it's peaceful. Space. And it's pill. It's so peaceful. Yo, and it's just about who's got the best bars. Nah, yeah, no, no it is. That's probably the most. This is this is a heavyweight championship happening in the front of our eyes that we've been waiting for our entire careers to see you know like like drake is that thing drake is that drake is i don't want to compare him to nobody drake is the heavyweight champion yes of the game the chart topper the ticket and seller the, the hit maker the last 10 year contender that was never given a championship look but is the champion in the streets Kendrick Lamar has taken his own initiative to say I'm the guy so now on that note going all the way back to 2015 flex yeah every time Kendrick shows up and says he's the guy <laughs> yes. everyone gets in their feelings yes he does yes yes Yes, yes, he, he, he does, he, he, he does. I mean, it's great for the music game. But wait, Laura, and, and who does yes. Laura like? Who does Rosenberg like? Who? They're, who? they're Kendrick. They think no, Kendrick's no, no. They're all right Kendrick. I, I, I really, really enjoyed Kendrick's euphoria. Just because every single time you listen to it, Flex, there's something new that you catch. There's, uh -huh. so, there, there's, a, there's a double meaning. Everything is so calculated and precise, and I like that. <laughs> to me, I like that. And I love Drake, by the way. And who's Rosenberg? And I think, like, who's I, Rosenberg? I think, oh, I think on our show, I might be the only one he likes right now. <laughs> and, and, and so so, so you're, you're Kendrick. You're Kendrick. You're Kendrick. Yes, Rosenberg right is now Kendrick, Kendrick too, bro. Yeah. So he, is Rosenberg. Rosenberg is Kendrick. And, yes. and where are you? Where are you? And, and, uh, all, Ken, who's, who's where, your this morning show, we Kendrick all day. We're Kendrick right now. I got to be honest. I'm Drake. I'm Drake. And, and, as you should. I get it. I'm Drake. I'm, I'm, listen, he has restored me. 
He has one thousand percent restored me now, as a Now you know the internet is saying fan. flex, flex, flex. You know the internet is saying it's it's other songwriters listed on that push up. I I got it. I'm okay with it, man. <laughs> I, you, you, I, you know why? I'm okay with it, man, because it's good. Because it's good. Well, well, I gotta be honest. There was things on there I didn't think Drake was in tune to. I didn't uh, think that would, they were on his radar. I didn't think he was even like, like, like. I didn't think he knew about the. Yo, know, he's 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 beyond rich. Like he's beyond. Like how does that get on his radar, Ebro? How does he? Because he see? stay on the Instagram. He stay on the gram. He stay in the gossips. He stay. You know Drake is petty, and that's what and that's what and that's what Kendra got at when I'm he was like, too. when I see I you up there with sexy red, I think you see competition. Cause you oh, wanted to you, with, with Drake and with the, why he's Drake all over sexy, sexy red. red. Well, cause that's what Kendrick's tapping into. Cause you know a lot of you 